What's going guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Aeroflight, I am actually gonna discuss about the insanity the developers have committed in this game. It is really frustrating and it is really despicable. It is really, 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 really ridiculous. And this is the one that makes me really kind of quit this game, but I will just stay around for some really freak stuff to happen out. But oh my God, like this one. After this, obviously, I'm never actually gonna play this game pretty seriously. I'm never gonna grind. I'm never gonna actually do any sort of like quest or whatever that is freaking thing happening in the game. No way! I'm actually gonna not do anything. I might just hover around to just see like what of news, uh, what type of news and stuffs are actually coming up around. But this one, after this thing going on happening around, I am not really going to grind. I'm not really going to do any shit in this game anymore. Just look at this. Oh my god, hell. First of all, there are two types of 5-star net servant that I really want to clear you out. Farmable and non-farmable. Farmable, farmable uh, really refers to those kind of 5-star net servants whose uh, shard can be farmed through the explorer and the sanctuary. Meaning like they are present in the sanctuary and explore as bosses and then when they, whenever you farm them you can get their shards right so if such kind of like servants are present those are known as the farmable types and the next one is the non-farmable type like let's say fire ignis water ignis you cannot actually find them in the explore or in the sanctuary region right so that's why they are the non-farmable types okay for non-farmable types, uh, it actually requires lesser amount of transcendence experience points to get them to T10, whereas for the farmable types, it will require you even more transcendence experience points to get them to the T10. Now, the question is, how much transcendence experience is required? Well, we had actually made some prediction, and according that, to that prediction, it would cost you about like 35 copies, but now after seeing this figure, this table, this data, I can see that like, oh my god, humongous amount of copies are actually going to be needed. For non-farmable types, guys, to get a non-farmable non type, let's say my Fire Ignis, if I just get a one copy of Fire Ignis, how many extra copies am I going to be required in order to get that Fire Ignis to T10? It will cost you a total of about 31,000 transcendence experience points, which equals to 62 freaking extra copies. 62 copies, guys. Like, what? And what about the farmable ones? Okay, so farmable 5 star net servants. Like, let's say I have a fire anko. All right, and I really want to get that fire uncle or let's say even water Blavatsky into T10. I just get one copy of the like fire uncle or water Blavatsky. How many copies am I gonna require, or how much transcendent experience uh, am, I, am I actually gonna require? You will be requiring a total of 41,700 transcendent experience points. I just added up 41 freaking thousand <coughs> 700 transcendent experience points, guys. That will be equivalent to 84 extra copies of that servant. 84. 84. 84. It's disgusting. It's ridiculous. And it's unfathomable. Like, what is it? I mean, like... In what way... Is this game really trying to attack more players with this kind of stupid grinding? Oh. My. God. Like. This is the case for RBZ. I mean like. Where in the hell. In what world. Will you be able to collect. 84 copies of your light and dark servant. Or at least let's say 62 extra copies of your light and dark seven. It's totally kind of impossible for free to play players. Maybe for the whales, it's going to be like taking them some time, but maybe they might actually get there eventually. But just think like how much money they should actually spend to get into that point. And just think that like what sort of gap it will create between the free to play players, uh, the dolphins, the sharks and the whales. It is going to be like huge, like freaking damn huge. It jumped from like 5 extra copies of a servant required in order to transcend them to the max to freaking 62 from 5 
to 62, from 5 to 84 extra copies. <laughs> this is insane. Wow. Has the planetium uh, really taken over the air of light or let's say Nexon? I mean like, it's even way above Nexon, okay? I mean like, I think even the Nexon cannot even think or imagine to commit this kind of scene in this level. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. This is insane. And now, actually, let's look into the, uh, you know, like the game right over here. So you can see right over here, the transcendence experience is going to be required like this way. So right now, my Fire Ignis is at level 70, that is T5. And to get her to T6, I'm going to require like three more copies. And you can see right over here that like three more copies is required right over here. 1500 experience points for a non-farmable type. Okay. And then like it will just keep on increasing by an exponential, exponential like graphic manner. Like what? <laughs> Man, what is that? What is that? Oh my god. I think this game is really unredeemable. Oh my god. After this point on, I'm like, I obviously am not going to play this game. But if there are like some announcement and stuff like that, new things uh, like added up, I might actually make a video on that one. But hell no. I'm not actually going to play this game up. Let's just look at it like how much time I have really devoted in order to like create like such kind of like, you know, like units right over here. And just in one shot, in just one update, all of these of my servants are now a trash. They are just a trash. It's just a matter of weeks or even like matter of days that the whales are actually going to sweep over all, all the way. If they are pretty much interested in putting the money into this freaking shit. First of all, and if they are actually interested, then it might actually take within like a few days to weeks that, you know, like the gap will be so high. It's kind of impossible to you know, like sort of like close it, especially with free to play players. No, it's not possible. It's really that bad. Really, really that bad. It's too bad. And they just like allowed in the summon section that you know like a first ld7 five standard ld7 is actually showing up in the combined section do you think that we are actually gonna like jump over it one where in the hill are you actually gonna get the extra 62 copies of this dark ifrit just having one is just like you know like it's just for a show it's just like it's just it's just it's just useless it's just pathetic all right just one copy is like oh man like it's 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 of no use no use, okay? It's just like for showcase, just like, ah, oh, I just have Dark and Fruit, that's all. Like, what? What the? What the hell? Oh my god. This is insane. This is really insane, guys. This is really insane. Wow. Non farmable, 62 copies. Farmable, 84 extra copies that you will require in order to get a. Uh, servant to the max transcendence and this is insanity if this is not insanity then what it is i think even the insanity the word insanity itself is you know like in insufficient in order to describe this situation this is total madness oh my god guys let me know what are your reactions and views in the comment section below let's share it out guys i'm like this is totally insane <laughs> I have loved this game for so many years and now just crashing it like this one, it is, it is a disaster. Oh my God. Okay, this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, like, I hope. And <laughs> please do forget, please do, don't forget, please don't forget to subscribe and like my video, whatever that is, guys. And see you guys in the next video. Oh my God, I'm so shocked.